What's going on with all my billionaires out there? This the guy who's billionaire. Welcome to Who's Billionaire TV. Big favor, big abundance. On today's episode, we're gonna be talking about Deion Sanders taking a coaching job with Colorado and leaving Jackson State. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Um, so first off, congratulations to Coach Prime. You know what I'm saying on um, his new position um, as the head coach of Colorado, and he's gonna be leaving the swag and leaving. Um, you know, Jackson State, but he's, you know, this is a, a a terminology I like to use when I talk about dating. You know, when you date a young lady and you court a young lady, you know, however long y'all end up courting, you should be dating her for marriage, right? You should be dating her because you see marriage qualities in her, right? But if it doesn't work out, all you want to be able to say is, I want her to be better when I left her than when I met her. I just, I want her to be better than what she was when I when I met her. You feel what I'm saying? And that's how I feel about this situation with Dion and Jackson State. They are a better organization. HBCUs have gotten a big spotlight put on them as as as, as uh, organizations that you know um, our our kids should go to. You get what I'm saying? Dion put the spotlight on that. Dion was donating half of his salary back to. The school. I didn't even know that. Dion was donating 50% of the salary that Jackson State was paying him back to the school. He was donating it back to the school. He was getting them all type of sponsorship deals and bringing all type of deals in play for the school and all type of shit. You know what I'm saying? New stadium. Just an all new, new energy to Jackson State. You know what I'm saying? But the one thing that they didn't do for him that they should have did for him what Colorado did for him is they paid him. They paid Dion like something like thirty million dollars. They pay him fucking thirty million dollars. This man getting five million dollars a year to be the coach for Colorado. You see what I'm saying? And I everybody like, oh, he should just stay with Jackson State. He should just stay with Jackson State. You not just gonna stay on your job if you doing everything for if you're doing everything for your job. You do everything for your job, for your job, for your company to be successful. Another company takes notice of that and they offer you more money than your current job is paying you to come do that for their company and your company doesn't do anything about that to try to give you that, you gonna go where the money is. And it's not like he's being selfish because he helped Jackson State grow in every way. The man was donating 50% of his salary to the school. You see what I'm saying? Dion was all in and was doing everything possible to make that a better organization. And he did that. And because that they couldn't compensate him the way that he deserved and earned to be compensated, he ended up going somewhere where they could compensate him. You see what I'm saying? Do you see what I'm saying? So, we can't be mad at Dion for doing what anybody would do. Now, I can see if Jackson State offered to pay him like that. You know, if they did the right thing and say, hey, look, we got to come up with the money somehow, some way to keep prime time here. We got to do it. Somehow, some way, we got to do what we got to do to keep him here. You feel what I'm saying? I don't care what it takes. We got to do it. You feel what I'm saying? That's what they should did. But because that wasn't done... You feel what I'm saying? He had to go with and do what was best for him. And most motherfuckers, oh man, Dion made all type of money. First off, I don't never pocket watch nobody. Don't never watch nobody pocket. You don't know what their expenses are. You don't know what they have to do with their money. You don't know what be going on with people's money. I don't never pay attention to people's money. That's not nobody business. You don't know what Dion be having to do with his money. That's number one. But number two, Dion, I act like Dion wasn't in the NFL in this new time where these niggas is getting fully guaranteed deals and, you know, shit, top corners getting 60, 70, 80 million dollars and niggas is grossing hundreds of millions over his career. It wasn't like that for Dion. Let's be real about that. And the last time he played was in like the late 90s, you know what I'm saying, early 2000s. It's, it's like 2001. It's, 20, it's 2022. That's a lot of life that's been lived and a lot of money that had to be spent in that life that was lived. So, 
Dion deserve his money and he deserve his opportunity with Colorado. And as long as he keep that same spirit, we all can say Dion's a very positive human being. Um, he did a lot for some young black men in Jackson State who I know they all took great life lessons from Dion on how to be good, solid black men. You feel what I'm saying? And as long as Dion did that, donated half his salary to the school, did right. He just did right by the program. Nobody should have no issue with this because I don't have an issue with it. But y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments, man. It's the God who is being there. Big favor, big abundance. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Like, share, subscribe. It's the God who is being there. Big favor, big abundance. I'm gone.